more cryptocurrency news information and articles now before i get into today's topics if you guys could please do me a favor hit that like button it brings awareness to the channel it's the easiest thing to do you can sh to show support and it takes less than a second now getting into today's articles we're going to be talking about this bullish setup that could be happening as a result of the stimulus um plan proposed by um the president and the rest of the government so first article, Bitcoin portrays bullish setup as Trump plans yet another bailout. So essentially, they're saying that the stimulus bill is kind of in a way correlating to, um, the, well, not the stimulus bill itself, but the stimulus bill is going to, you know, of course, make certain stocks or parts of the economy or the stock market rebound as far as positive prices. And a lot of people are arguing that this this um, rebound in the stock market is going to correlate to BTC, which we actually are seeing. So I will not argue that it's not true. But in my personal opinion, well, well, before I even get to my opinion, let's look at these articles, guys, and then I'll give you how I feel about this whole thing. So BTC rebounded higher Wednesday as the Trump administration discussed the prospects of introducing another stimulus package, which they actually did. I believe it's around 400 something billion dollars um, towards the PPP programs to support the small businesses and people who are employing over 10,000 employees, I think, something like that. The, the benchmark crypto advanced $254 or 3.75% to establish a daily high of $69.85 on BitMEX. Intraday recovery also took place near a long-term support area near $6,400, section that traders want to maintain their interim bullish bias. Hyperinflation excites bulls. Part of the reason could be fears of hyperinflation. The price of benchmark West Texas intermediate slipped below zero on Monday, reacting to, oh, that's basically the oil they're talking about. There. That's what West Texas intermediate is, WTI, if you guys don't know for short. Reacting to the nosediving energy demand prompted by coronavirus-induced lockdowns and travel restrictions across the world. Trump made a heroic effort on Tuesday to help the oil sector coming back to its feet. He asked his cabinet to inject cash into the industry to stop it from pursuing a historic collapse. The announcement came atop the U.S. Congress's $2 trillion stimulus package to safeguard the economy, economy announced back in March. BTC bulls perceived it as a sign of inflation, noting that it may lead, leave a massive dent on people's savings, which it will. Payment for a gain, even as the fundamentals improve for BTC, the crypto's growing short-term correlation with equities continue to strangle its bullish bias. And to be honest with you, if you guys think about it, um, in a sense, it would because BTC is fueled by the people. And if the people are in need, well, let, let's go, let's go on. But even as the fundamentals improve for BTC, oh, we just read that. Investment strategist at Glenn Mead wrote in a client note that U.S. stocks could plunge back towards its yearly lows as corporate earnings dwindle and consumerism comes to a long halt amidst the corona scare. That is mainly a scary outlook for BTC, which has tailed deeper dives and mild recoveries of the equities since mid-March. So everybody is saying it could top as low as 5300 which I think a lot of people will be happy to see. BTC price could collapse to 2000 based on golden ratio. So according to this guy, the BTC has the potential to drop all the way down to 2000 And I am starting to see a lot more bearish um outlooks on the market i mean I, I guess it's kind of divided half and half but i would say right now that it's bullish you know it's tipping in the favor of there being more bullish sentiment but in my opinion the bear sentiment is still a lot stronger as far as being more correct the shocking sell-off crushed hopes that btc is having would be a bullish event oh well they're talking about when it dropped all the way down to 3800 um, back in March, sentiment has now spent the longest stretch over in extreme ever in extreme fear. All while BTC price climbed over seven thousand, but a failure to hold the level could push the asset back to retest recent lows or perhaps even lower, according to the math. Can the golden ratio be the key to predicting the final bear bottom? So, according to the location of the golden ratio of 1.618, the psychological support level coincides with the golden ratio puts Bitcoin price somewhere around two thousand dollars uh, i'm not about to get into none of this math guys i'm gonna be honest i'm more fundamental on the fundamental side of it like these are the chart guys these are those type of people who, who read these types of things but if any of you are chart people and you understand what the golden ratio is and people predicting it i don't really think anybody could just predict a price 
you know, I don't like you can get lucky and whatever, you know, you can. Like I said, I'm not a chart guy. <laughs> Interestingly, this level is also an untapped support level from the previous run. That took BTC price to its all-time high of $20,000. The number is also a full 90% retrace from the all-time high, which is a typical of past BTC bull-to-bear market cycles. It's not fully understood as to why assets fall to these important mathematical ratios, but it remains a, con a common strategy amongst traders when planning entries or exits of positions. I, I could imagine, like, if it actually fell all the way down to 2,000, I think there would be a flash crash to maybe 1,000 before bouncing back up. That's my personal opinion, though. But, yeah, this article is going to be linked in the um, description of the video. Last article before I start talking my my own perspective. BTC approaches 7K as U.S. passes new $480 billion stimulus package. The top crypto by market value is changing hands near 6970 at a press time at press time, representing a 16% a 1.6% gain on the day. Prices look to have studied in 6900 6, to 7,000 range over the last hour or so, according to the BPI. Meanwhile, the Euro stocks 50, the Eurozone's benchmark equity index, is reporting a 1% gain, and there's been a 1.2% gain percent increase in the value of futures tied to the S P five hundreds. So the theory is the trillion of dollars of stimulus is inflationary and could bode well for Bitcoin in the long term is generally accepted by now. So far, so far, however, BTC has failed to perform as a significant haven asset or an inflation hedge and has been generally tracking equities through the crisis, which is very true. It has actually. BTC decoupling, while the crypto has recovered over 80% from the March low of 3,800, the price rally has coincided with the notable recovery in the S&P 500. That said, signs of BTC decoupling from traditional markets have emerged this week. For instance, WTI crude fell to 37 below zero on Monday, sending shockwaves across the global financial markets, which is actually crazy. If you, it's $38 negative, negative prices, like, woof. Many observers expect a supply-cutting event to bode well for BTC's price. These bullish expect expectations could force investors to hold their coins while heading into the event. It could be that investors are not choosing to sell their holdings as we might expect and instead are staying in BTC as to not miss out on the anticipated gains in the momentum of the months following the halving. Simon Peters, an analyst at multi-asset investment firm eToro, told Coindesk, It remains to be seen if Bitcoin... It remains to be seen that Bitcoin remains bid while heading into halving. Luno Swampel thinks more money may come into crypto if gold keeps drawing safe haven bids. The yellow metal is reporting 2% gains at press time it continues to draw bids as a V-shaped economy recovery is increasingly looking unlikely. Now, these are a lot of people's perspectives on what may happen, both positive and, and bearish. And in my personal opinion, I, as we said, we saw this with the last stimulus package that they injected into the market. The first one, I think, was like around a $300 billion um, stimulus package to try and bail out a lot of these bigger corporations. It lasted only so long. I mean, yeah, it did help stimulate it to the point where prices kind of rebounded and we saw some price, some positive price action and momentum. But probably it's a great environment for day traders or for people who are holding. Um, don't get your hopes up. I honestly feel like this is um, going to be a very short lived rebound. I don't think BTC, if I mean, I'm not saying it can't go up to maybe like 75 to 8,000, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of volume at those regions as far as buying volume when it gets there. I think it's going to be more, more so the buying is going to be overpowered by the selling pressure. And at that point, I think we're going to come all the way back down to around like 65 to 6,600. And like I said, you can't really predict these prices, but that's what I, that's what I feel. That's what I'm guessing. And then from there, I don't think that this corona epidemic is over at all. They're also talking about reopening everything right now. And why in the world would you reopen everything right now if, you know, there's a whole bunch of scares still out there as far as the coronavirus still being out here? A lot of people are still being affected by it. So to just open up <laughs> it's kind of like you know it's a zombie apocalypse and there's still like we killed like you know like maybe like 
eighty percent of the zombies, ninety percent. Everybody's like, "Yeah, we killed all the zombies," and then we go outside, and the remaining ten percent infect another fifty to sixty percent of the people. So we're right back where we started again. So it's kind of crazy that they would really make these steps to. I I can understand coming from the perspective of maybe a small business owner and people who would really like for this thing to be over with because they need to go back to their lives because they've had um storefronts that are that probably span across generations and generations of their families and i understand that completely nobody wants to lose something that they've been building their whole lives have been working on their whole lives or they've received through generations passed down from them by their parents passed down to them by their parents so it is sad in that regard but i also do not think that we are in the clear as far as reopening everything now I don't know why Trump would give the states the go ahead to start reopening as they please at their leisure. But I can also understand from his perspective, um, hey, it is gonna, if, it's not going to be on me if everything goes to shit. You get what I mean? Like that, that's basically how I see what he's doing. It's not going to be on me. When, when, every, like, when we re, if you guys reopen, it was on you. It was your call. I said y'all could do what y'all want at this point. You guys are in charge of the of the safety of your state citizens, so yeah, I can I can see why he would why he would delegate it to them, or re relinquish that power to the to the heads of the states. But in my opinion, like once again, I don't see us um living out this um this stimulus very long. Uh, I said living out the stimulus. I don't see us benefiting from this stimulus package very long. And it's going to be short lived, in my opinion. Once again, um we may see the the benefits of it maybe over the next week or two maybe three maybe a month who knows but in the long term that like, we took some big hits from the economy being shut down and i don't think we're just going to recover from that especially considering the fact that the reason it should shut down is still out there and it still has the potential to be spreading but yeah everybody this will be your boy cg peace i'm out have a great day stay safe wash your hands